Eagle open for three to catch out here to Chakra. He's going to strip it from KYXY. Burning with a double kill now. He's going to find himself some more. It's going to be a triple kill for Burning. Bringing down the Nixon Dazzle. And Ohio, he's on the run, surging away. Burning trying to catch up to him in time. He's going to this round. It's level two. So Burning has to keep going. Oh, shit! Wind it up, and Burning is a trap! Bushi, what a... This is why he's a really amazing Shadow Beat player. That was just crazy. Burning got destroyed, my man. Who's gonna pick up the Aegis? Oh, or will he even come to that Yamate leading charge? Shaco shot, not gonna hit a rare miss here. And now they're gonna focus on Winter. Winter gotta be focused. But the look at the AoE, the Sonic Wave gets one right now. And Mushi, he wants a little bit more. He's waiting for the cooldown. DD's low, DD's gonna get pick off. And the chase commences. Winter, two seconds stun. The wave for him in. The mech up here, Silar, he's in the middle of everything. Queen oh, of Mech, oh, triple, oh, triple, oh, triple, 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 he gets he everybody. More. And now they were turning attention to Roshan. Roshan is so low. Mushi oblivious to have number one stun. Number two will be done. Oh, they think they have a safe defense by sneaking. This doesn't smell good. This doesn't feel good for Dignitas. Can they find a way out? They'll throw out the shotgun. They'll slow down the post. But here comes Mushi. Now he's looking to unload. Not going to throw the ult just yet. The shot from coming back. There's your ult. He is free. Now on the snake. He's snake in trouble. He's going to fall and Mushi's out for blood. Give him more. Three kills to Mushi. He's just hit the jugular and he's happy it for all it's worth. Bottom tower is under attack. He could be in real trouble right now. Oh, Moonlight Shadow, he walks right straight now. up next to him. It's almost worth a great ravage, but Artizi comes in for the hex. The link is on. And Mushi, are they going to commit ravage? He's running himself away, but 140, 168 points, 198. It's too much. They can actually have enough damage in Artizi to kill a Mushi. The ghost has protecting him quickly. Can he evade? He can't silence. Yules up in the earth are up, Mushi. A 200 life points. He's in taking it around. He's going to TP. Oh, my God. Oh, Amazing. Unbelievable. This man is on the most wanted list in the Oh, Weaver can really get aggressive against Centaur. But the good news is their offlane has benefited a lot. He's already hit level 4 off of this. Top rune. We're going to have an engagement. Mushi went for the rune. He's got stick charges. He might be able to turn this on Rabbit. But the napalm keeps on coming up. And he's holding First his ground. Blood. First blood going to Mushi. Mainly through the familiars and the wards, but it's not that much. If he can BKB and they go for him with the lasso, he may turn the fights. And LGD, they're making their own move, but DK are ready. It's a trap, but hell, Fisher on two. Beautiful change stun from DK, and now they find more. It's DDC they want next. He tries to trade this one, but he can't. 
zap down from range. That is a shame that they couldn't deny that doom. It would have been pretty easy. This is a pretty quick roast though. We got the inner beast for extra damage. They got the flash, but now Fnatic come in mid one. He's going in bold. He gets off his own. He'll oh. survive through it. They kill the beast master. Now no no in deep. Right. This should be the end of the dragonite. Indeed it is. Now this mark he's against the high ground. Oh, oh he's in old form. Here comes the ice blast. Not even necessary though. They lock him out and now FY tanked by the plus like Easy kill here for Mushy. And, yeah, uh, this is a huge fight. Yeah, this is trouble. The Panda Blink's in Bernie. No clap just yet, but they're not going to burst him. He can pop it when he needs to. Mushi will fall to start the fight. If he can buy back, he most certainly should. BKB thrown out by the Dragonite and the Doom, but they'll just go ahead and do Marteze. Now he's on the run. The Panda's doing way too much work. Mushi with the buyback. It's three heroes dead. It's going to be four. It's an ultra kill for Mushi. Well worth the buyback. It's probably five. PPD not even bothering to move. He's accepted his fight, and they just GG. Nine kills in a row. Really? And they realize something has happened. They go, okay, now it's time to pray. But even on the way down, it's like, we fall off here as well. We fall off there. Back to Sienna coming in to try to test rush out. They can't offer the fight against that. But they also have Vegas for the Immortal. So they ice blast in. And then Echo set too early for Primo. Roshan's going to punish him by just beating him down. But Nando will also arrive for the fight. Net, you're setting himself up as Urshaker was just killed off by Roshan. But Coldan is a really good position for him. Ohio is going to self grave at this point. But Fox, with that mana void, he'll end up going down. They pick up the Dazzle, and there's also a nice little gem they'll get into the hands of the Gyrocopter. So it's a two for two trade off. Black coming back further. It's a lucky bash onto the Templar Assassin, and Net, they know he's up there. The Vortex has to reveal him because he's just far enough away. The Division isn't there, so the Light Tracker race done. Mushi sitting on the cliffside. The Remnant will give them the perfect vision inside the pit, and now Black to the front line. Roshan actually taking the moment again! Two snaps in one game! Mushi goes to work, Nando's gonna drop, the Jara being Yule set the drop. There is no Light Tracker way to control, but it doesn't matter when Black is there. The Laguna Blade will actually get the kill, a triple kill for the Light Tracker. back up again. Again. And they're very online. badly grouped right RP. now. They have to jump in. RP! Come on! Scare him up! Leave me! Give me! Where is it? There's oh my god! Triple kill for Ohio! Super will go down! Triple kill for Ohio! And QQQ is on the rubber bush! He says no! Ned's coming down, and they got Gem, they got Vision, they don't see him there. They're starting up on Mushi, Sentry Ward's gonna have a crack. There's a son of Mushi, they're gonna bring him down, and Enigma! Bam! For the hole! Bean strip though! Cancel it off, and Ohio's only too much slow! Oh, oh P from KYXY! He's got them all! He got the whole kick caboodle! For the hole of burning! Low life! Not dead yet though, he's still alive! There's losing life quickly, four stuff away! He'll live, he'll live, but Super will not! Mushi's in there, four stuff away! Super on the team! They can't find him, they don't, they don't! Here comes to losing his mana like this. This is like Jeff, not mana for a here right now, so... So he gets a couple of extra rackets. Meanwhile, the fight breaks out, it's bad enough. Haven't to worry about the Chronosphere, it comes out. Vacuum gift, uh, Shallow Grave, on the push a little bit on the early side. Pushes the left, kicking on the couple of the mid-game aid. Dukes will be dropped by the end stage in the back. Oh, the cheese comes out! Kind of denying the mana void damage, and now Rage Potato up against the... Up against Black, the bash walls are real, and follow a bouncing stunts from the rest of Fnatic. We'll see the animation of uh, that we can't buy back. We might have to later on as DJ Rizzi uh, catching up Jules in the back with another punch. That's a triple kill for Bushi. Four heroes down. The hook shot out. Meanwhile, Ferrari running away, but Tony with a pink attack kills him off. We're back to the other fight. KYXY burning. He's still got called out. That's a rip for Bushi. He's got the damage output. Or does he? He's held in position for the moment. They're backing out of here. The Sigil is just watching our dear KYXY. They're going to go in. And the side plate popping the land up into the shards. Controlling up, there's no more buybacks available for IG. Have Fnatic won this on money? It is impossible. Still with five heroes alive. Ferrari back to front line, pushing down for the count. Now we can buy those rapiers, or at least bring them to the fight. He's actually won two rapiers. In the mercy, he's on the way. No, he's bringing the team. Wait for it. Mushi, where is it? There's the head. Oh, it is my way down. Triple kills. JJ. 97 minutes and 45 roughly seconds will be the victory here for Fnatic over Invictus Gaming getting a 1-1 two draws for TI5.
and there's a new message from the now all of service now trained in CPR. Way and way too sexy. The lion's down for the it count. You've got buybacks available at the moment for everyone on mouse spots. No higher. Black jumps oh, in, but the orbs it just protects and black actually gets the BKB off in time. Mobile so that stun from the from the Lashrak won't do enough. Boba is boarding, they're actually pressured a bit. Now they have all five heroes in base. This is the perfect situation for Fnatic. I'm not saying they can win the fight, but this is what they, they hope for. Now they have a stun. Raw oh, over on the track, and a Raw's in back again. They got the Lotus Orb off in time, and now Snowball up into TC. But the BKB will trigger from him with the Deafening Blast Black. Refresh Orb is going to go again, a secondary Deafening Blast. The track. he's so low, but he gets a cheese off in time. Mushing is also so low inside the base. They're picking him out, it's like, please help him. And KYXY wow. is basically Uber charging Medic DM2 style right the dragon eye keeping him alive and now even shield him up even more the mouse boss they're buying oh back if they God, need to already the lion back now bulba's low the eye shot up bulba he can't stay alive he won't be protected by that veil and now black also backing up at ember he's right at the front lines and the, the lightning he gets the kill the buybacks are all coming up from mouse boss all five players have more back in this engagement and maybe mushy we're going in again it's a ring and serve with ohio with warren's punch pushing tc up they're gonna find zone ember he's back in again too looking for the pulse no, but damage doesn't want to do too much, so the Lotus Orbs are protecting up so many of these players. They still haven't brought down the racks yet. Meanwhile, on top of Vada, the Mouse Boss Creeways are doing the work. KOH by the Sun Strike! He's so low! 33 HP! They still have not killed the racks! Pylai died! He's a good one! Down for 90 seconds! You've got Mushy back in the fight too. They're losing Team Four Towers back in the base in the meantime. Black forced up to wait. Mushy going to work on the racks. Ohio, he wants the heroes. How long can they keep this up? You've got buybacks coming back. How's the base? The Team Fours are up. Johnny and K. Why? They're the ones on the defense duty. You still haven't killed the racks. You might get way too sexy, but the roll's up from Bulba. Yeah, way yeah, too. In comes the snowball. The glimmer cape. The wall is down. He picked up all three of them, and now they're underneath the T4 towers. Way too deep for Fnatic. Can they hold them? The sun on TC for Tornado one from Black. Buy some time with the sun strike mushy. Popping around. Bouncing it out. He's down 103 seconds on the sideline. Now he'll buy back. Ohio. Solo retreat for Mushy. He actually just jumped himself back in. He falls back. BT's in. Blink Dagger stuns on TC. But he got hexed up. Now they're having to burn the BKBs once again. KOS White at the board. He keeps him alive for the moment for the Sheep is gone. And they got another opening. You've got the Dragon Form up from Mushy. He feels like it's enough. The attack on the way. Too sexy. The four stars keeping him out of trouble. The TC. He's the man being son of Ohio. Warus punch up. They still haven't killed the Jaro. 18 seconds until he can get himself back up again. But then the Glimmer isn't enough to bring fire. Yeah, now they can see him. They got TC down. No buyback. Two minutes. A flick in by Mushy. Finds another one. Moving over to Bulba. Do they have enough? Here they come. The snowball coming to the beast master. Mushy, they keep going to work. Now sports, they're in so much trouble. They're dead for so long. They haven't enough damage to team four towers, but Fnatic, they still have not played objective based gaming. The racks are down, but they're going for the GG push. They're going for the team four towers. They've got to keep black out this fight though. For double BKBs, Ohio, he's in too deep. Tricks of the Necro units. The team four towers yeah, still not down for the count, but Ohio down to the sun strike. One team four tower down. Fnatic keep going at it, but do they have enough power left? They might be out of steam. They're finishing off the they racks at the moment. The track might be back, but how long until it returns to fight? Right now, BT's in. They need to finish the job. The tier 4 towers are on the sideline. And now they can go in. Impa with the Edict jumps into the pulse over. They got the hex on Black. Maybe they can find the kill as well. Falls up away. The Lone Souls presenting it, but not enough. Black's down. That could be the game right there. I think it actually is. It is. They don't even take a proper single rack, but they take oh, the game. Gosh. That was insane. That was the most epic fight I've seen in a while. That was insane. What a fight from both teams. Honestly, that was just... I'm speechless. Like, that was... <laughs> That was actually madness. You, was, was madness. you were saying it the entire time. Fnatic could win. Oh my Fnatic God. could win. I can't one believe they actually did it. Could win it for them. That was like four fights combined into one.